Oh my god, look at the pool! Ew. Look at this, as I'm at the halfway point, fresh, clean, new socks going on today as a treat. Oh, morning by the way, tent held up beautifully, it was really windy, not much sleep was had last night. Also, I kept getting up on the hour to see if uh, I could see the Northern Lights after the big Northern Lights show yesterday. I got a few time lapses. Forecast today is from 12 o'clock, lightning, heavy rain, um, and that's it for the rest of this hike now, from midday today. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. There is a particular section that I'm umming and ahhing about. It's seven o'clock, and I'm gonna make my way into Portree, see if I can find a coffee, maybe get some breakfast. No trace left, just some flattened ground. What a glorious morning. And after the heavy winds of last night, it seems to have calmed right down. It's maybe because I'm in this valley, but it's nice not to be getting leathered by the wind. I'll tell you what though, I am getting leathered by that sun. We're gonna go along here through these fields with these cows in, hopefully none of them get any funny ideas. And then hit the edge of the coast there and just skirt round to Portree. And then today, you see over here, the cooling mountains. I'm hoping to make it to there. The cooling mountain range. Hopefully get to the sea on the other side. Damage report. All good. <laughs> All good. Noodle, good. Feet, good. Legs, good. Everything good. I mean, I've got a few a couple of blisters and um, a couple of sore points here and there, but nothing, nothing to take me out of green. I'm on amber. I mean, or nothing to take me into amber from green. I'm just in one of them moods where I think I could just, I like, you know, when you feel invincible a little bit, because <laughs> I'm so determined. It's like when I did the Iron Man. As I mentioned, I did the Iron Man. <laughs> walking towards the start line at like five in the morning or whatever it was. So laser focused that you could have just come and punched me in the face. I wouldn't have even moved. I was just like, this is my mission. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing it no matter what. I've trained too hard, put too, too many emotions into it, too much time and effort. And I feel like this about this hike, there's too much emotion involved in it. For all you suffer fest perverts out there, you're going to see me suffering today because from 12 o'clock as i've said it's gonna get it's forecast real bad weather mate there's weather warnings actually today and tomorrow there's weather warnings and i'm off into the current mountain range which is you know pretty remote who are you no one crow stay tuned for that me getting absolutely piss wet through and i mean there's lightning and stuff but Hopefully if I stay low, I should be all right with that. Right, where and how do I get? I need to get to that bit of coastline. Am I going through farmers? Am I going through cows? I'm going through cows, aren't I? It's one of them. It's one of them. I'll bring you back when I'm uh, running away from some cows. Look at that. Glasgow. What is it? What? something what's that john wallace john wallace and sons limited don't make them like that anymore I'll tell you what i'll wear that in <laughs> worth a few bob that wouldn't it get it weighed in they didn't fancy it look they didn't even come and see me it's rather splendid with the uh just the bird song and the sound of the water there. Ah. Okay. Just a hodgepodge of wires, but he's got his he's got his priorities right with this up, boom. Ah. I'll have to do all manual labour, but I don't mind that. Lovely stuff. All right, there's somewhat of a, a path here. 
I hope this lasts because I thought I was going to be having to rock hop down by the water there. Wild garlic, edible, I'm not going to eat it because it stinks. And a primrose, edible. Bluebells, not edible. Oh, the smell. Look at all these beautiful flowers, man. Right, I've come off the main road. It's not a lot. Just a little bit of main road walking from Portree. And then it's a difficult path to see but opposite the uh, Isle of Skye Candle Co, opposite there, there's a little thing to get into, but I can imagine in summer, this will be a, a tough gig because all this bracken will be year high, but as it stands, quite easy to find, quite easy to walk through. Oh, and it'll be tick heaven as well. Here we are, look. Ah, <laughs> oh, lovely. This is nice. Medic! And as always, it's a windy one, it's just, that's been a constant theme is the wind, so when these rains come at lunchtime, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be different gravy, isn't it? There's a chance I could finish this in four days, but it would be two really big days. I can crunch them miles out when I'm enjoying myself. Cut to me in pissing rain, sideways rain, puddled up in tent, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> A lovely little stretch of his bank just covered in bluebells. Scrambly, don't want too much of this because it does take up a lot of time. Medic! Uh, these young spruce tips, full of vitamins, Lovely taste to them, and a nice little edible trail snack. Gorse flower, again, you can just nibble on it as you go. Oh, it didn't go, it didn't go. This is it. This is gonna be somewhat brutal. He did forecast first half at day, sun, second half at day. It is pretty much this for the next six miles. So you're looking at roughly 10K there. I'll just look at it as a time I can put the miles in relatively quickly and hopefully my feet don't get too damaged. Beautiful. That's where we're going. You can see the old man of star over here and where I slept last night on here. That's nice. <laughs> even like thinking about, I can't even think about dinosaurs anymore. I'm like, come on, it helped yesterday. Dinosaurs, I'm like, I don't care mate. Keep your sticky dinosaurs. There's a rescue chopper that's just come over here, hovered, gone over back that way. Fire engine and police cars have just gone past me around here. So, summit's popping off and I hope whatever it is isn't too bad. Oh, well, I'll talk about it more when we get there, but I've been reading about this little section and I think I would have done it if the weather was all right and it was forecast to be all right. I wanted to do this thing called the, the bad step, which is a bit of a mad traverse around this rock with a, with a straight drop into the sea. I was thought, you know, I'll push myself, push my, uh, Call of the void head out out there and just see see what happens with it but i was told not to do that in bad weather when you're on your own it's just not fair on search and rescue and then there's another section along a cliff that's really badly eroded and there's been several deaths in recent years on that stretch and it looks shite anyway 
It's all overgrown, hard walking. Hey, hey, hey. love a good wave, me like. Get up there, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, it looks all overgrown and just, as you're going through, there's just like sheer 100 foot drops onto rocks. Hiking's wonderful, but it ain't worth that. So, last night I plotted a little, uh, a little detour over the top of the mountains. Absolute heroes, these men and women for the mountain rescue. Salute. Nothing but love, nothing but respect. You know, a lot of people can let bravado get in the way and a lot of people just have piss poor planning. You know, like them people I saw up the store and they're like, yeah, I don't know, they've just got like fucking <laughs> normal shoes on. A Ben Sherman shirt look like all dupe on. Just like they're going to Spoons for a night out. You're gonna get found out. And then there's bravado as well, which I, I'm guilty of it, of like thinking oh, I'd be all right, I'll just push myself to the absolute limit. And then you can come a cropper. The weather conditions aren't right. And you've thought, ah, sack it, I'll be all right. I'll get up and over it. And next thing you know, airlifted out of there. So when you're doing stuff like this, when it's remote and challenging, just, I guess just spare a thought for mountain rescue with all the decisions that you make is it within your comfort zone to do it i've got my garmin inreach mini which is a, a gps safety signal so if there's no phone signal or anything press a button and i'll get rescued i've got all my first aid kit i know what i'm doing i've got two maps and a phone map i'm good i know my limits but I don't know what I'm waffling now because it's just I've just been on this road for so long I'm like oh, I'll chat to the camera for a bit and you start chatting you don't know what you're chatting about he's breezing absolutely breezy GTA 5 hiker. The weather's turning right on cue. No more clear skies. It looks dark and foreboding. And that's the mountain range that we're heading into today. I may be even going to try and push over it and through it. No matter what the weather. Uh, and it's not bravado because I know my limits and I know that I'm not going to go on that sheer drop bit where people log out as I say it's six miles so it's a bit of a beast and your feet don't get a break from the same mechanics if you know what I mean like the same it's the same ground so it's the same pressure on the same part of your feet where as if you're on if you're on the grass and the rocks and all it's ever changing I find it a little bit more forgiving on the old trotters and uh that blister's revved right up again. I can feel it like sloshing around in my shoe. Apart from that, all good. So it begins. Cute. Say goodbye to the tarmac, uh, which I think is an Adele song. <laughs> That's better. Uh, we just follow this lock you now, all the way up to I think a hotel marks the end of day four in the guidebook Scottish AF murder <laughs> I think this is the way I'm basically just making it up because it's whatever it is to get along the side of this lock So if you're looking for fresh water sources along here, you would scan this bank and you'd see this swathe of lush green trees cutting all the way up to the top. You can guarantee that's water coming down. So let's get over there, refill the bottles. Oh, this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> uh, it's not very deep. 
but it'll do. I'm going for it. Yeah, I need a wash. And it is only, it's not very deep, but I'll be able to make it work. Let's go. A bit of water on there with your horse chestnut leaves. Give them a good old pummeling. And it creates a natural soap. So you can give yourself a good wash. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, it's cold. Elegant. What? Ah, you what? Not exactly a swim, but so refreshing and well needed. Puts a spring in your step. Oh, toes hurting a little bit with blister, but that doesn't matter. So I was walking along the coast, along all these stones, thinking this is slow going if I've got to stick to this all way. And then I looked up and I saw like this water source. So I came up to explore and I've hit this path. So this is the path I was supposed to be on, not walking all over that stuff. So I uh, feel better about that. This might be a bit quicker now. It's tough walking, thin path, but I can see my destination, which is the end of this lock. First one of the river crossings, but it's not in spades, so pretty easy. In case, just in timber case, nailing it, mate, nailing it. Light work. Lads, Joey D. That's a section finished from poor tree to there, but it's only 20 past two. Oh, which way to go? Conundrum, map time. This section. It's doable, but it would be a, a stretch to do it. So I'm just going to keep hiking till it gets late or till I get knackered and then find somewhere to pitch up. And I'm looking forward to this bit, getting up in between these mountains. The Cullin Mountains, the Red Hills and the Black Cullins, I believe. And I believe I'm going to wind my way through them. Let's go. Lord of Rings stuff. This is it, mate. This is more like it. Look at the size of these units. <laughs> I feel tiny, look at me, little tiny nothingness. <laughs> lovely path, lovely path to walk on. Scenery is just breathtaking. And the rain stopped. I was able to take off my waterproofs so I can breathe again. And for now, this is good. And I'm feeling positive. How many miles have I done? I'll tell you. Today we've done 15 and a half miles today so far. So four and a half to get to that 20 mile mark. There's no reason why I can't do another section of this. While I'm enjoying it, there's no point me stopping back there to rest and recoup when I don't need to rest and recoup. This helps like. I walk back for the day. Not too bad. Keeps raining, so I get all <laughs> rainproof gear on. And then it stops and it's just too hot. But it's taking too much time to keep changing it all over, so. I'm just boiling bag. Boring update that one, eh? that was the worst update so far. Oh, right, wheels have come off. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired now. <laughs> am I? No, I am a little bit. Just a little bit of fatigue, but I'm just losing myself in this. This, this section is amazing. Look at it. Just cutting through these rocks. This huge, mountains either side it's easy just to lose yourself and just hike through it all and forget about filming and forget about chatting breeze and then you jump on and end up with subpar 
uh, jacket waffle. Look at that. It's a foreboding specimen, isn't it? I don't mean my ass, cheeky. It's just like shrouded in darkness. Look at it. Brilliant. Nature. Nature undefeated. <laughs> Majestic round every corner. I'm gonna hit the side of this little tarn here. A tarn, lock, sorry. I'm gonna hit the side of this little lock, follow it round to an even bigger lock, stay on the side of that, and then I think we come out to the sea. It's 20 past four. We've done 20 miles today. I've got another, what time is it? Four, it's 4.20. I've got another three hours in me, I reckon. It was forecast weather warnings for lightning and heavy rain and I don't want to jinx it but it's managed to hold off so far weather chat and you have to have weather chats because weather is very important out here it's not just like I'm leaning off a back fence being like now Doris weather's been all right hasn't it like that this is very important <laughs> very important weather chats I'll have you know they're peaceful Blowing a gale. I've just got, why has it gone peaceful? She turned on me. It's still, <laughs> it's still stunning. Uh, and I was hoping to get to the sea and it'd be gloriously sunny and go for a swim. I still might go for a swim. See, as late as me, it's gone. Get off the path. There you go. That's delightful. That is delightful to walk on. Just a smooth, soft grass path by this wonderful lock. There's the sea. Ah. Wow. The sea. I'm 23 miles deep. I'll show you on a map as I'm explaining this to you, right? So you, could, you, you keep going down here to get to there, to get to Eagle, where there's a shop there, which will be shut now anyway. But that, on that section there, I'm showing you on a map here, aren't I? Yeah, good, good me, good future me. That section, I've been told on this hike uh, that it is just awful. I just read a report of some, some fella dying on there recently, and I was like, do you know what, mate? With the weather forecast as it is, and with me already being 23, I'm making excuses, but here they are. And with me being already 23 miles deep, legs not been feeling it. And the fact that I'm a salad, I'm gonna swerve that section as well because people said it ain't, it's not fun. It's just stressful. So I art about that. So please forgive me if I cut that bit out. And I've had a little look at my map and I think there's a waterfall of rear somewhere that I can go up and up onto the tops and over. I think that's going to be a better route because it'll give me, watch it be real steep and as dangerous as the other way, uh, but it'll give me views, it'll give me better vistas. I don't need to go to that shop because it'll be closed anyway. It just makes sense, so stay tuned for that. I'll report and if it's a good way, then if anyone else is going to be doing this and you don't fancy doing that death walk, then you can go this way and I'll put it in my map time. I don't know if it's someone's actual house or if it's just like a fishing house or a bothy style thing, I don't know, but that is remote. And open, so I might get battered by the winds. Look at all this shit in here. 
plastic everywhere. It's humans that have put this plastic... Oh shit, what's this? Mad sculpture shit. Yeah, it's humans that have put this mad plastic there. And that's the reason why this beach is covered in plastic, because it's just all been chucked out at sea. And the reason it is here, ironically, is because there's no humans to tidy it up. Because if we're about the good ones, the good humans get involved and tidy it up, but there's none here. No humans, so it's just left to do as it does on uh, desert islands and stuff and just get full of plastic. Bit disheartening to see, but that's life, isn't it? I'm off in sea, lads and lasses. I've decided I'm off in sea. Probably a mistake, this, isn't it? Getting all sand in feet and that. <laughs> Abrasive. With all these little worm casts and thingy me jiggy. There you go, mate. Let's go. We're lost in the eyes, giving all alibis, breaking bones, telling lies. Letting go We're lost in the eyes Giving up Alibis Breaking bones Telling lies Letting go Letting go Kept my shorts on and gone in there as well. Fresh water to get all salt off me. Never mind. It's quarter past six and I'm going to head to the top of there. See what that ridge is saying. Really? Seems alright. We're up. <laughs> Beautiful views from up here. Just stunning. Look at that, man. Get me out at road, look at that. Yeah, full summit, I just wanted to show you this view I'm looking back at before we go. The Cullen Mountains, oh my goodness, it's great. And then, we've just got to still get to the top. Go about an hour, an hour and a half before it starts to get dark. But the wind has dropped. So I might, if I get up there and there's a good one on the summit, I might camp up there. There we are. The middle of the ridge. You see on both sides, you can see there. It's unnerving that they're, I'm not getting absolutely annihilated by midges because the wind has just. Imagine it's probably because I'm moving. The wind has pretty much stopped for the first time. <laughs> it's nice and calming. And I thought with that would come a cloud of little bastards to nibble at me. But no, because I know they're out because they got me last week when I was up here camping, but I'm doing all right to avoid them. Touch wood, I don't want to jinx it. Oh, mate, look at this. Look. Tell you what, today's been absolutely stunning. Yeah, there was that six mile of road work, but that was still a lovely bit of road work. Ugh. Look at it. There looks to be a woodland down there as well. 
and I just meander all the way through here and pick up a path at the other side and I've cut out that gnarly bit this for anyone who's watching and if you're not if you're new to the channel hello sorry this is now the official way to go on the sky trail you've heard it here first no one has to perish doing that stupid stretch of uh, coastal path where the path's eroded come this way it's beautiful I just stopped for a little bit and he ate one of me uh, tracker bar things and I'll tell you what it's hard to get going again the metaphor for life keep going and it's inertia you can just keep going like literally five minutes ago I was like right I'm gonna get all the way down there but well, I finish it today I stopped for five minutes I've seized up I'm like oh I could feel that and now I'm looking at these bits thinking that looks like a nice camp spot, doesn't it? Do I really need to push on down there at... At seven o'clock? What's down there that I can't just do it morning, eh? I'm talking myself into it. And I've got this big rock here, look, that's nice, isn't it? Come on, let's have a look. It looks like midge territory, but... We'll be all right, won't we? It's too boggy, yeah, it's too boggy. Yeah, it's bog myrtle starting to get a bit dark isn't it I've got nowhere to sleep <laughs> we'll have to bat on won't we because there's nowhere up here bog sniffer hey up dark clouds are rolling in over mountains look oh please don't rain come on not now not now come on not now when when I've just hit a brick wall <laughs> I am smashing straight through brick wall. Come on, how many miles have we done? Let's have a quick goose. Feel it, definitely. Definitely feel it. 25 miles. 25 miles of undulating and ch ever changing ground. Let's at least do, let's do one more mile. Let's get a marathon done today. Full marathon beans. It's looking like I'm gonna finish this in four days. There's some bloke who was going the other way who I, who I bumped into. He was like, what day are you on? I said three, and he was like, what? I was like, yeah, mate, just, <laughs> just I don't know what it, I thought he's gumped it, hasn't I? I've gumped it. It's, that, it's gonna piss it down and I can't see any camping spots. It's all this boggy shit. Right, let's move, let's move. Show them the meaning of haste, shadow haze. <laughs> right, we've hit the 26 mile mark, we've done a marathon. I am so glad. I didn't pitch up there when I was thinking near that rock because look at it now, it's pissing it down and I was just putting my jacket on and the loudest thunder, it shook me to my core and it lasted ages proper thunder and lightning they, they, this is, there you go mate, Scotland for you at one point I was like oh might get some nice star lapses. Definitely sleep up there on tops. And then I'm having my bones shook by thunder. Done a marathon though, so whatever. <laughs> I can't find anywhere to camp. It's all just so steep and not right or boggy. So I'm just gonna have to keep going <laughs> until somewhere presents itself that is a little bit, I need somewhere a little bit flat and not boggy, that's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for five stars, just somewhat flat and not boggy. I'm easily pleased. I kind of want to leave this on just so you can see the lightning and hear the thunder. Florence and Machine that innit or something. I'll leave it on a minute, see if it, see if it claps back again. What a day. Ah. See, this grass looks nice, but it's on a steep hill. I can't work with it. Well, I guess we're finding out this is like, you know, you roll the dice, don't you, when you're playing these games, where you're crunching the big miles. You don't leave yourself much time to find the perfect camp spot. You know, a lot of people would go from camp spot to camp spot, knowing where they're going to go. But this style of uh, hiking, <laughs> you, you know, sometimes you roll a six, sometimes you roll a one. And that's why I like it. 
never know what you're gonna get. And you're a proper, well, I'm appreciative to Tiv, Tiv. I appreciate it when I get somewhere good. Please find somewhere good soon. I'm keeping you on here, waffling bullshit. I'm just waffling tripe to you. In the hope that, here we go. Oh, I don't want to get hit by lightning, but imagine not death path in this. Look at this grass, it looks lovely. Perfect camping stuff, but... Oh, it's just... There's just no flat bits. Oh. It's for you suffer junkies. That's thumbnail. <laughs> hey up, oh, civilization! Trees! So do you go near trees in lightning? No, you don't. But do you go near trees to find no you definitely not them trees? Look how them have fallen over. Oh mate, I'm getting all my stuff's getting soaked. Here we go. Oh what's this? Look at this. This is it. There's a bit down there that's even better. Is it sheltered more? Oh. See if I can drop down and find a bit of shelter. Oh mate, it's closing in. Oh, I've got to get my phone out, hold on. You stay there. Stay there, mate. You're going to fall over. I put my phone in, plug your bag. Oh, don't say she's run out of bath now. Well, if you ain't thunder. Oh. Mate, I'm going here. I don't care. Am I going to get thundered? Am I going to get thundered? I'm going to get, I'm getting thundered out. This is how, this is how it, this is how it ends. This is how I get logged off. Right, come on. Ah. Right, shall I drop down there or just have it here? Drop down into here. Yes. No, yes. A little bit. Oh, but it's not flat. Can you hear it rumbling, the thunder, and look at that. I've got to get my tent up, man. Stop messing about. I'll go back up there to that bit if I can't. If there's nowhere down here, talking you all through this, but it's no point, is there? So I'm coming down here because I want to be in be, behind this hill to get away from the wind. It's not flat, whereas the flat bit up there is very much in the wind. I mean, it's all in the wind, isn't it? It's windy. There's a dead sheep over there. Murder! Oh, it stinks, doesn't it? Dead sheep stinks, but <laughs> any part in a storm, any part in a storm. What we're saying under, the, under here? Uh, what about in here? Yes, there's a dead sheep. You're going to have a quick skeg. Should be doing it. There's a little house. We'll medic. We'll get that. Have a look at morning or whatever. But I think this is it. This is perfect, isn't it? Is it? You can hear the thunder. enough room for me to kick will I even get a skip in here I could go there I'm doing it I think I'm doing it you see it you see it end up end up, end up line quick right just, let's just get a rough art rough ass pitch done that's not good enough come back ah, about there perfect look at that Stones underground. Everything's getting soaking. Bag's getting soaking. Put it the other way. Oh, come on. It's not going to be pretty. Look at that. It's getting absolutely drenched. What's the point? Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You enjoying it? In your nice little warm bed or on your nice warm sofa? Is this what you want? Love it, mate. 
It's all yours. Oh my god, look at the pool! Dude. Anybody, but there's a thunderstorm. Look how wet it is. There's a thunderstorm. Wait. Oh man, don't be tangled now, boys. Uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Yeah, that'll do. It. Stone on. Who cares? Not me. Stones on as well. <sighs> It'd be bad getting absolutely nailed. It is, yeah. <laughs> I think it's type 2 fun. Oh, summer. Oh, come on. Type 2 diabetes. It's alright. It's okay. I'm a professional. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. I got you. I got you. Oh my word! Am I ever gonna be dry? Am I ever gonna be inside this tent ever? Come on. Okay, that's that. Let's do a bit of jiggery pokery. <laughs> yeah! Is the not enter? Oh, whew, what have I done with that? Oh no! Come on! You big soppy Muller yogurt face! Oh! Right, come on! Composure, boys! <laughs> ah! It's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all gonna be all right. I've done it a thousand times before. Oh, I'll be, pitch this side. Come on! Oh! If they didn't laugh, they'd cry. Pull that out. Looks mad as, but who gives a shit? Okay. Right. Right, my. What you've got is you've got a little bit of drizzle on there, mate. You might want to get a little tissue on that bit, mate. I reckon you, I reckon you'll be all right, mate. There you go. There you go, mate. All right. I am getting in here until everything's proper. Oh, until everything's properly. Pegged in because it ain't worth it getting all dry and then having to get back in. Right, that's better. That's better. That's better. Tight. That's better. It's not better. Uh, get in there, you. That's it. I think we're nearly there. Look at that. Are you having it or not? Are you having that? Are you having it or not? Ah! <laughs> Is the having it? Okay, let's get in. Right, in we go. <sighs> Luckily, bag cover on so we can just get everything out of there, keep it dry, get all our dry stuff on. It'd be right, won't it, mate? Tighten these up a little bit. Ah! Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's your thumbnail, mate. Does it even do it justice? I have to put some fake rain on and that, Anna, to make it look even worse. Uh, Woohoo! Like that. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Shamelessly doing it because it's real talk. There she is. Right, let's get, get in. I'm in. 
I mean, clobbers off. Listen to that. Listen to that, man. I'm just saying, fuck me, look. It's absolutely nuts. That's just all my wet clobber. I've just had to chuck it in that corner. Bags there. Get my airbed out, get some dry clothes on, and I'll report back. There we are. I don't even, this, everything is absolutely drenched. Next level. The wind buff's all saturated, so you probably can't even hear me. My face is burning with how much wind and rain I've had on it today. Mate. <laughs> Caught out there, wasn't I? Got me, didn't it? Got me! Ah, damage report, blisters hurting, and a uh, bit of chafing on the thigh. But well, apart from that, not bad. Shoulders are hurting a little bit. Oh. Whew. Man, that really came down, didn't it? <laughs> are you guys, are you all right? Are we all right? <laughs> yeah, relax now. We're safe in our Lanshan too. They can't get us. Absolute carnage, mate. What time is it? 10 past eight. There's gonna be no time lapses. There's not, I aren't leaving this tent now. 10 past eight. I'm just gonna uh, get into this little bit, cook up some dinner, and then straight to bed. It's been a long day. And thanks for joining me on this long day. I'll bring you back if it really kicks off. Hopefully, I won't bring you back. But for now, let's cut to map time. Welcome to everybody's favourite time, map time. This is where I woke up. It was a beautiful morning. We head down here through these cow infested fields and hit this delightful path, lovely wildflowers along here and a nice brisk morning walk. Some lovely houses round into Portree where I stopped, had some breakfast, got some trail snacks and carried on. There is a little bit of road walking here, but it's nothing too bad at all really. And I imagine in summer it's going to be hard to see, but there's a little path just opposite. You can cut across here and then by the side of this lock. And it is delightful walking along here, it's absolutely stunning. And then we hit the road. So it's six miles of road walking. I wasn't mad at it at all because there wasn't that many cars and it was some lovely views and it afforded me to get a little bit of a wriggle on. But yeah, this is the road section. So all the way along this road, I stopped off here to get some horse chestnut to have a wash with later on. Carry on, we, there's, there's amazing views back to where we came of the old manor store and views to where we were going this day. Off the road, back onto the track. So now I, stupidly follow, see the black line is where I went, down here, and I was just following the side of the water over all the rocks, but there is actually a path. So went up, saw this water here, had a little bit of a wash with my horse chestnut, found the path, and along I went. Bit of a thin path along here, a few river crossings, which I imagine after heavy rain would be a different story. Along we go. And there we are, the campsite and the hotel. And that should have been another section done, but I decided to bat on. And this was one of the best sections, man, all down here. And I had these, look. Masco, Skernan, Gillen, whatever. Sorry if I've mispronounced them. But you can see, look at the contours absolute beasts and you cut through here it's like lord of the rings it's absolutely beautiful little bodies of water for you to look at as you're going through and this is where you have the option to go down here and to take on this which is the bad step which is traversing around a crack in a rock with sheer drops into the sea which if it was good weather, I was gonna push myself and, and go this way, I really wanted to. So I might come back and do that. But as the weather was bad and I'm a bit of a salad, I went this way. 
along here past these locks again still stunning and then we get out to Kamasunari Bay this is where that lone house was and there is a bothy here an old bothy here that's no longer in use and a new bothy that's in use there this is where I went from my swim and this is the uh, decision I made the route takes you along here this bit is the path of doom look how steep it is on there anyway which is eroded and quite dangerous and according to other people it's not much fun and this takes you to El Gol where you can restock but it was late and I knew nothing would be open anyway so as an alternate route I've gone across here up and over beautiful views up here and if you're worried about not seeing El Gol or going to the shop and you don't want to take on this path you can come across here you can go down this path and you can still make it there without having to risk it for a biscuit but i came over here stunning views and this is where the weather as i was coming over here she turned on me as you've just seen absolutely turned on me but it was exciting down here conundrum where can i camp there was nowhere really and i was lucky if we zoom in just these little bit of trees here i just got tucked in here next to me dead sheep and that's where i am for the night and that's that thanks for joining me on that one if you're not subscribed already please consider subscribing hit the bell notification to be notified of the next upload Whew. and thanks for watching